Hello everybody. Uh, today's video I'm going to show you a project that I had to work on for one of my classes and that's a applications uh, project class. And we have a guideline of something electrical or electronic. So I decided to make uh, solar panels. There's actually three. It's a tri-fold solar panel in a um, box that houses your batteries and has some other stuff in there. So um, let me go ahead and show you what I did. Okay, and like I mentioned, I have my uh, full-length solar panels here and there are two hinges underneath and then two hinges on top. So this one folds that way and this one folds that way. And I left the sticker on here just to show what window it came from. I actually had three windows uh, laying around so I just opened them up. Those are 24 by 36 each one. And uh, the reason why I like the, uh, the three folding one, it's great for space. So when you're not using them, you can, if you're in an apartment, you can put them on your couch or in a closet. They won't take up much space at all. I like the bigger ones, which you can't fold. And uh, let me show you here. So once you fold them together, I just went and bought these clamps at Lowe's. They're only, I believe, $3. That holds them together. They got a nice handle on there. But if that's going to be too big for you, like if you're going to place it in your window, you always have the option of using a little one like this. Uh, but it'll take it way longer to charge, but it's definitely an option. It doesn't take up much space in your window. Or you can use the old favorite of the 15 watt Harbor Freight. And it'll definitely be quicker than the little one, but not as good as the uh, big one here. So let me uh, tell you real quick about the parts. The wood is a two by four, and that was roughly three dollars. The cells run about a dollar a piece, and I've had those for a very long time. Uh, but they're they're just under a dollar now, or something like that. The hinges were a few dollars each, and uh, the handles a couple dollars. All this wire I got for free, and these right here, these attachments, those were for free. Uh, so I didn't really spend a whole lot on this guy. And let me go ahead and show you what I have in the uh, toolbox. Okay, so here's the inside of the toolbox. And one of the criteria of the project was that it had to take a certain amount of time. So to take up a certain amount of time, I mean, the solar panels definitely took me a while um, to figure out because I've not ever seen any three-folding ones. I'm sure they're out there, but I just couldn't come across any. Um, so I also made my own uh, charge controller or my solar regulator. And I went online, I could only find one person who sold a kit, so it was a big bag of parts. And uh, it works just fine. And it is, uh, I think, a 20 amp charge controller. And it took me about six or seven hours to, uh, to solder everything on there. I'm not an expert on soldering. I'm definitely way better than I used to be, but I'm still not great by any means. Uh, but pound for pound, uh, this is so expensive it was like sixty dollars for a 20 amp and you can go on ebay and buy them way cheaper like a third of the cost um, so because of this project i had to find something that took that much time which is this guy but in reality i would never make one of these instead of just buying it, it it's so much quicker they're nicer they have cases already on them more lights all that good stuff um, but anyway there's the charge controller that i did and for weight because this is going to be carried around because i have to bring it to class and stuff I just used two 12 volt batteries. They are 7.5 amps each, and I put them in parallel so they are uh, still 12 volt. And I just did some simple wiring. Uh, everything self explanatory. It says you know PV and battery, and I, like I said, did these in a, uh, parallel. Excuse me. And I wanted to keep this 12 volt because it's just a little more efficient. I could in add an inverter with no problem whatsoever. And it could also add a bigger battery, uh, which is no problem. Uh, but for carrying it around in weight, I just want these little ones. But some of the things I uh, believe you could use for, um, I got this extremely bright, and it's definitely going to show up outside, uh, 36 LED light, which charges. Uh, you just plug it into the uh, cigarette lighter there. And that's work. That's one thing I could think of. And this last, uh, this came from Walmart, it was $20. It's a Bayco. It was about $20 and I think it lasts six hours with these um, 30 here and 12 hours with those six on the end, but it is extremely bright. Another thing that I thought you might want 
in a kit like this for an apartment is a hot water um, mug, I guess. And it's 12 volt, so that just plugs into there, plugs into there, and you get some hot water for soup or whatever you could use that little bit for cleaning up, whatnot. And also, I have a 12 volt fan, so if it's really hot out and the, the grid's down like a tornado came and knocked the power lines down, you have some fan and you have some lights. And the last thing, one of these adapters in here, so you plug that in there and you can run your, oh, you know, computer, cell phones, that sort of thing. And one thing I forgot to mention on the outside is the, there we go, close it up. On the side here is where your solar panel plugs in. So you just have a, a red and a black, which is your positive and your negative. And on the solar panel, if I can get it to reach, uh, you just plug in your black to black, red to red, very simple, and then it starts charging. All right, thank you for watching this video as always. Take care and God bless.